Okay, right now we're going to take a look at um, comparing two decimals. Um, so we're going to use the signs to uh, figure out which... Uh, we're either going to use the less than sign, the greater than sign, or the equal sign to compare these two uh, numbers. Uh, you might right off the bat see these and know exactly which one is more than or less than, um, or if they're equal, but right now we're just going to break this down just so there's no uh, questions about which one is which. Okay, so the very first thing you want to do is take a look at where the decimal is, and I'd like to rewrite these numbers. So I'm going to rewrite the first number um, to 30, 4, and 40. 2 tenths. This next number, the very first thing I'm going to do is uh, place the decimal point because when we're comparing decimals, when we're working with decimals, addition, subtraction a little, a little later, we really want to make sure we're lining up the decimal. Uh, so if I look at this number, I see that there's a 3 right next to the decimal in the ones, and then 4 tenths, 4 hundredths, and 2 thousands. Okay, when we look at this number, what we're going to do is you always want to start comparing left to right. Once you compare left to right, um, because each significant, each place value, when you go to the left, is more, is worth, it has more value than the place value to the right. So if you go all the way down to start comparing your number, and you have one that's uh, place value that's more than the other, uh, the person to the left, then, then that one has to be more. Um, so if we look at this number, and we want to feel good and have everything lined up. Remember, we have uh, numbers that are place value holders. Any number, any decimal number, when we have numbers to the right, we always have a zero. Okay, and with whole numbers, anything to the left of a number, there is a zero. Remember, there's a zero for infinity is going that way, and zero for infinity going to the right. So now let's take a look at this number. Very first thing, we're going to look at the tens. I see 3 in this number, I see 0 in this one, automatically I know I don't need to look any further. This number is bigger than this number, so I would have 34 and 42 uh, hundredths is greater than 3 and 442 thousandths. Alright, that one was easy. We'll do a couple more and hopefully you get to hang with it. Bye.